and Orrery is a model of the solar system. Peter Grimwood is an engineer whose hobby is orreries. I'm really interested in making and restoring old orreries and making new orreries and uh, designing them. And the strange name comes because of the Earl of Orrery. He asked one of the instrument makers to make him a planetary model and the instrument maker named it an orrery in honour of his patron. Really, what they are is just a, a demonstration model of the solar system, how the planets go around and what they do. They started off in the, in the 1700s when it was firmly established that the sun was in the middle and the planets went round. It all made sense. They were used as uh, basically rich man's toys to impress your friends. A planetary system works a bit like swinging a tennis ball round on a, on a piece of string. If you spin it very fast then the ball is typically quite close to the middle and if you're swinging it more slowly then it is further out and it goes around. And this is really what the planets do. Gravity is pulling them in, centrifugal force is pulling them out and the two balance each other out and so they go around in a fixed orbit. A planetary system is something that's always in motion, always in balance. You've got the Sun in the middle, the nearest one is Mercury, the next one out is Venus, then you've got Earth with the Moon going around, next one out is Mars, then you've got Jupiter, then Saturn, then Uranus, Neptune and little Pluto right out on the edge. The speeds are in the correct proportion. The way it works is that underneath this top part here, there's, there's a whole bunch of gears, uh, and the number of teeth on the gears is chosen to give the different rotation rates. Many years ago, a friend said, oh, would you, would you make some gears for me for a little planetarium? And I thought, this is actually pretty fascinating and I can design something better. The smallest one is a little tiny thing about this big and the biggest one sweeps out four and a half meters as it hangs from the ceiling of an ocean going yacht. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself an expert, I would call myself someone who's very very interested which is code for being uh, a geek about it. 